Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to talk about another agent concept. So far we understand how to use agent in Schematic Kernel application. So this uh, example 38, I talk about this uh, SK agent. Here we used, uh, we used agent group chat and created a Schematic Kernel agent and we implemented one simple example. Next, we talk about the Autogen Framework Agent. So that's example 41. Here we talk about how to use Autogen Agent in Semantic Kernel application. So this one here, Semantic Kernel Agent. So there are two types of agent we've seen. In this video, I'm going to focus on the third agent, Open A Assistant Agent. Let's move on to our sample. We write simple code how to implement uh, this OpenAI Assistant Agent. Let's start. So I have created an another new sample project called OpenAI Assistant Agent. The first step, you have to install the package Microsoft Schematic Kernel and main package microsoft schematic kernel agents.openai this package nuget package has to be installed once package has been installed go to the main program.cs file this two tab no more record i just close it you have to add this warning disable message schematic kernel experimental 0110 you have to disable this warning and this agent completely based on the openai assistant api this OpenAI Assistant agent only available in Semantic Kernel application. To create this OpenAI Assistant agent, we have to use the class called OpenAI Assistant agent. So I declare the variable where agent equal to OpenAI Assistant agent dot create async. This function we have to use. So this async function I add a wait create async. The first argument we have to pass the kernel object. The kernel object I have already created the function called a create kernel builder. Here I used Azure OpenAI chat completion API to build this kernel object. So this I have to pass it here, the kernel. The second argument we have to pass OpenAI client provider. So what type of client you are going to use, whether Azure OpenAI or OpenAI, which client you are going to use, that you have to define it. To define that one, so here I create the OpenAI client provider. So OpenAI client provider equal to OpenAI client provider dot. As I mentioned, there are three type of mechanism available: one for Azure OpenAI and another one for Azure for OpenAI and third one for from client. My focus completely Azure OpenAI related. So I use this function to create this client provided object. So here we have to pass the key and endpoint. If HTTP client is required, you have to pass it. For us, it's not required. We have to just pass only these two arguments, Azure OpenAI client, credential and endpoint. So here, new of Azure OpenAI credential. Here we have to pass the keys as I mentioned in the config file. So config dot key API key passed. The second argument we have to pass the endpoint new URI. So the endpoint also available in the config file dot endpoint. So our client provided is ready. That we have to pass the second argument. The next important argument, OpenAI Assistant Definition. So this, we have to clearly pass it. This act like, like as a, our agent name and agent instruction. So that I'm going to define it here. So here, OpenAI assist, open Assistant Definition, Assistant Definition, go to new, new. So in the constructor, we have to pass the model ID, which model ID we are going to use. The model ID here is whether GPT-4O or 4O mini, whatever it is, that model ID we have to pass it. 
that I have already defined in my config file, config dot model name I passed here. The next important is name. We have to set the name for this one. So this I called as uh, OpenAI Assistant. This is fine. And the instruction, the instruction I'm going to set like answer the question questions based on the user input that's it so this ready so this is a third argument assistant definition i pass it so here we have successfully created the agent so our agent object is ready the next important point is we have to pass this user information to this agent we cannot simply pass it we have to request to the agent object get the thread id thread id is a very important one that we talk about in our upcoming videos just we understand the thread id will maintain the memory so request the thread id here so thread id request the agent create thread so here as a async function i have to add the weight here and just get the thread id once we get the thread id the next we have to pass the user query to this agent for for that await agent dot add chat message so the first argument as i mentioned the thread id is important that we have to pass it here the thread id the next we have to pass the chat message content so just i directly create the object here chat message content role is user user role and the question is like um, capital of tamil nadu that's it so i passed the user question to this agent the next step we have to call the agent to prepare the answer for that for a wait for each where content in agent dot invoke so which thread id you want to call so here the line number 28 we capture the thread id so this thread id pass it here the thread id so once ready just print the result so console dot rank content just i do one more step just change the color so that we can see the output for ground color green and reset the color color is white fine so just we recheck the code as i mentioned we are going to use the Azure OpenAI Assistant Agent. This Assistant Agent based on the Assistant API. To create the Assistant Agent, three important parameters needed. One for kernel object, second client provider, which type of client we are going to use, whether Azure OpenAI or OpenAI client, that information we have to pass. The third argument, we have to set the Assistant definition. Okay, what is the core of this agent that we have to set using this? open a assistant definition so i just set only the name and the instruction it's a very simple example how to implement the open a assistant agent so once it's ready we have to request the agent to create the thread so once we has been created the thread has been created we have to take this thread id and using this thread id we have to pass the user information to the agent once it's ready then we have to call the invoke async function to pass the thread id which thread you want to invoke once all is done, we just print the result. Seems to be all fine. We run the application and uh, see the result. Application has been started. So we pass the question, what is the capital of Tamil Nadu? We get the response from the model. The capital of Tamil Nadu is a state in southern India. It's Chennai. So this is a simple example how to you implement this OpenAI Assistant Agent in Semantic Kernel application. In upcoming videos, we talk about more about agent. 